The sun rises on another beautiful day in Kahane Survival. A day where Icy loads up his game, takes a look at his save files, and realizes... <laughs> he DELETED HIS FUCKING SAVE AGAIN! But that's fine, because I spent the past half an hour getting myself plenty of wooden resources to quickly build back up to where we were, so... Hello, ladies and gentlemen! Welcome to Season 3 of Colony Survival! Season 2 only lasted one episode, because I'm a smart cookie! But that's fine! In today's episode and today's Season 3, we're gonna be turning this clearing here, which I just spent the past half an hour clearing up, and turning it into a nice little self-contained castle community. It's gonna be nothing massive, nothing grand nothing insane. It's just gonna be a nice little self-contained Walden community that people can be proud of and happy that they live in, safe from the torment of the zombies. I've waited until dawn to start the episode, so I have all day to keep building and then all night to see what happens. But we are going to start with the basics. The basics being, first things first, we need to get a perimeter wall up ASAP. It's not gonna be a massive perimeter wall, we will expand it later on, just enough to keep our peasants safe in the meantime, when we place down our banner. So let's get that done real quick now. So as I said earlier, yeah, I did in fact delete my save again. Why? I don't know. I just seem to have the uncanny knack of being able to mess absolutely everything up when it's finally starting to go well. So I apologize in advance for any of you who were excited to see how that build was going to progress, but it happens from time to time. And hey, if I could roll with it, the loss of hundreds of hours of my hard work, then I'm pretty sure you guys can roll with it too. Plus, this means we get to start a whole new adventure with a whole new project. The project, of course, being this upcoming castle, which obviously these walls here, while not very grand, are this going to be the start of something awesome. So let's continue building this here. The plan I have in mind, by the way, I've visualized it all in my head, it's all almost completely ready to go basically involves the construction of several turrets on the side, walls going straight between those turrets and a big gatehouse over there facing out that way, where daily the farmers will leave and enter to go about their chores. Now also I've been tipped off by one of my comments, thank you commenter, I don't know who you were, but if you comment on this video I will pin your comment no matter what you say, unless it's racist, in which case I will ban you from the channel. Uh, but yeah, the commenter who told me that Colonists, in fact, can now be assigned as guards and made to patrol an area, which is just an awesome update that's kind of cool in concept and I would like to see it in action, which is another thing that kind of spurred me on to start up this series again. So let me do some quick math here. Ooh, just in time for night to fall. I have finished the basics of this. I'm going to call it a work camp. It's just a... Basically, that's all it is. It's a nice little camp for my peasants to stay in while they work and earn me more money. Because money is obviously more important than people's lives. People always say, Icy, you're such a cruel master. Why do you disregard your peasants' life like this? And I tell you, I tell you why. It's because they're not worth anything. It's really that simple. Anyway, so this is going to be our starting base camp. This is where we're gonna get all our processes up and running. There's nothing grand right now, nothing amazing. Literally, just a little place for me to get started with. So now that the spooky night has fallen and the stars rule the sky, it's time for us to get started on planning out what we're gonna do. So, looks like we actually need to get some research done before we can unlock wheat farmers, which is, uh, yeah, pretty crazy, but that's fine. We can get the berry farmer up and running. Let's have a look and see how many saplings we have. 35 saplings, okay. So if we start with something simple, I'm gonna move the berry farms over here because we are gonna keep the farming district a little bit further away from where you would normally expect me to have it, which is inside the base. I don't want it to be inside the base this time. No, 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 no. I would much rather have it out here where at least, you know, a little bit more can be done for it. So we're gonna have three berry farms set up and ready to go. That should be plenty to deal with all of those. And then going over here, we're also going to have a single guard, a nighttime slinger set up. Now, a single guard is going to be defending four peasants. That is not enough. And unfortunately, at this point, I don't have enough money to be <laughs> buying all these people back after they die. As little as I care for their life, I do care about my wallet. So we do need to make sure that guard is set up and ready to go. He's got slings there. I'm going to take one of those slings and a couple of those 
stones. And I'm also going to turn all these stone bricks prematurely into some pebbles there, just so there's a little bit more to ready to rock and roll. Now, obviously, during the night, I am loath to start bringing in some peasants. So let's really quickly, you know, I'm not the cruelest of masters. Let's make them a nice enough area to sleep. A barracks, you could call it. A shithole, you could also call it. Just somewhere not so nice for them to rest their weary heads at the end of the day. Except for the nighttime guard, who of course will be sleeping during the day and awake at night. So let's get this set up here. And so dawns a new day and the little house is finished. There's nothing grand, nothing amazing to look at, but it'll do for now for what we're basically going to be calling the shit shack and what's basically going to be the home for our first four colonists. So let's get them set up now. We gotta get going ASAP because as you can see, the sun has risen and we don't have very much time at all to spare here. So I'm going to take this banner. Now the banner is going to be up over here. The reason it's going to be up over on top of here is because this is the hardest place for the zombies to get to. And you can see it actually covers the entire area. Barely, barely, you know, admittedly there are a couple of spaces over there, but zombies won't spawn on top of that. So we are all good. Real quick, let's go. One, two, three, four. All right, we've recruited the colonists and they are not moving. There we go, okay. I'm a little bit worried for a second there that they weren't moving, but they're moving now. They're gonna go and get started with their work and hopefully get it done fairly soon because we are gonna need our first harvest before long. We're up to 20 food being used a day. I, I can talk. We're up to 20 food being used a day and that's not something that I'm happy about to let go unchecked. Now, I really don't like how the front of this looks, so... That looks a little bit better. And that looks even better now that it's casting the shadows. <laughs> See? I know what I'm doing. Unfortunately, the amount we can do while these berry farmers are working isn't that much, but hey, we can wait for now. Let's just go ahead and set up these torches. The reason why our slinger guard isn't being patrolled around, by the way, I know a bunch of you will be like, but I thought you were doing this just to see that. No, I'm also doing this to play and have fun. The slinger guard isn't patrolling around right now, but... Oh, it's daytime. Yeah, you should be asleep. The reason he's not patrolling around right now is because he's going to sit up here and just nail the zombies as they come around these corners and come over here to this entrance. Then they'll be standing inside the entrance, ready to nail the zombies even more as they break through because, yeah, one guy guarding four guys, not enough. And unfortunately, yeah, all our berry seeds are already gone to put these down. So we basically put down almost the exact right amount. And, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I also need to grab myself a stockpile. There we go, let's put down a crate right here and that'll be enough for them to just store all their berries away and hopefully be good for us. So he's now coming back to start storing away all his berries and we need to have a look at the science tab, mainly the bread production. Now because they've changed the way this all works, that means getting up a science lab is now insanely important. We only have 10 copper left it's going to cost us five copper parts and copper tools to do this. So we need one copper tools and five copper parts, which we barely had enough for to get one science lab, which means we're going to need to recruit yet another colonist in order to get this science lab functioning. That's dangerous. So let's put the science lab here. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves another bed, which requires yet more nails. Woo! Yeah, we're running out of copper fast, people. All right, recruit the colonist, get him working, please. I need you to get started on my science. Now he is requiring some copper parts in order to do this. I do believe there was a cost attributed to the science. Yeah, we need copper tools, copper parts, and berries. For one research cycle, we need 10 copper parts and five copper tools. I don't have enough for this. Yeah, that's all I can manage for now, which means we're going to need to go and get digging to find ourselves a mine and find ourselves some copper. Dang it! Oh, well, you know what that means? We need yet another colonist. We're going to wait until tomorrow because colonists can mine copper a lot more effectively than I can. Trust me on that. I destroy copper when I mine it. A colonist doesn't. A colonist just mines away at that copper for infinity. So let's get this sorted right now. Let's go find some copper. And hopefully get our science up and running because that bread production is basically going to be the key to our survival when food starts becoming scarce. 
Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Look for copper, gotta find a copper. Seriously, it's nighttime already. Where's our copper? Damn it. We're already here. Oh, here we go. Oh, is that iron or is that copper? I can't remember. Oh, oh no, no, no. All right, let's break this piece. What did that give us? What did that give us? That gave us copper. Yes. Okay. All right. So real quick. No, 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 no. Don't want that. We need to get a miner set up here right there. And we need to take the copper nails that we kept aside for the stockpile and put that right next to it here. Put light here so the poor guy can see. And that's our miner ready to go for tomorrow. So let's get back up to the surface because we're about to have a spot of bother with some zombies. Already you can see from the fact that we are losing a lot of pebbles, the zombies are coming. Oh, he's fighting hard. As far as I can tell, it's only weak <laughs> zombies. <laughs> Oh, that spooked me! That actually spooked me! Oh, wow! <laughs> Alright, well, I didn't expect this to be a horror game, jeez! Well, the good news is, our guy it seems to be more than capable of handling this. The zombies are coming surprisingly slowly. I guess I got too used to seeing them coming in huge waves of like 10,000 at a time to be even slightly shaken by this. You, sir, are a goddamn boss. That's no excuse for me to get tardy. We need to get some copper. Now, whilst this one, yes, is being signed up to be mined by our incoming peasant, the, all the ones around it need to be mined by me. Because if we can grab as much of this copper as possible, I have the wrong thing selected, we're going to be good to go and good to get started on this research as soon as possible tomorrow without this miner even coming down here to sniff at this copper. And if we can save the money, or in this case, the food required to get this miner down here, that is going to be a definite plus. Yes, we have the five copper tools. It is ready to go. Absolutely fantastic. And day is coming already, which means that, yes, we can wait for this to be done. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and scrap one of the berry farmers because they won't be necessary anymore. And we can get ready to start a new lucrative business of wheat farming. Now obviously the wheat farming is going to have a wait a while though because it's not just a wheat farmer we need anymore. We need a wheat farmer, we need a wheat grinder, and we need a baker. That's three jobs for one bit of food. Not something to be sniffed at. Night has been beaten back once again by the fiery god Ra sailing his chariot through my skies. Fantastic, amazing work. And look the berry farmers are already out to play and our scientist, oh, he was going to get, he went all the way down into the mine to pick up his resources needed for this. But now he's finally researching how to bake bread, which to be fair is something that would need to be researched. Bread isn't an easy thing to bake. I speak this as someone having baked it for 20 odd years. It's not an easy thing to bake and learning to do it from scratch must not be easy. I, I have faith in your abilities as a scientist, my friend. I have faith. In your abilities but after this we are going to need to concentrate on some other things for example the technologist is going to be really important as well as the splitting stump for firewood because well we're gonna need firewood for a lot of the stuff that we've got coming up however for now this is good we're waiting on the food coming through we're waiting on the science to get started and I reckon this will do for our first episode back we have ourselves a nice basic little base camp here I'm gonna real quick just run around it and make sure it looks even cooler because, I mean, this is kind of my thing. This is what I do. I have a I have a thing for just making things cool. I don't know. It's it's weird, I know. But hey, no harm, no foul, am I right? And you do have to admit that this, when you add these to the walls, definitely make them look a whole lot more imposing and 100% a whole lot cooler. So that's where we're going to wrap up this first video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Sorry for being so short. My time is very short these days, but hey. I hope you guys like the fact that we're coming back to Colony Survival with great aplomb and a great amount of alacrity. So let's hope that this goes as well as I'm hoping. <laughs> right now we're kind of floating. We need to wait for these berry farmers to be done and hope to hell they can keep up with our food demands before things go too badly. Hey, we got 400 wheat seeds for the research, man. You're awesome. Anyway, that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching once again and I'll catch you all in the next video of whatever I make. Bye-bye.